Hey there, welcome back to the channel and today I will talk a bit about how you can get back your missing Wi-Fi back to your Windows computer. Well, honestly speaking, this problem mainly happens with the laptops. If you have a laptop and you suddenly, um, um, you know, spot that your laptop's Wi-Fi is no longer showing on your computer and this is exactly what you got to do to solve the problems now to solve the problem the first thing you have to check whether this is the problem to the hardware or software you know first thing that you need to check is that your problem is only with your computer or another hardware and to check that out so let's go ahead and click on the windows search bar at the bottom right corner like right here just go and click on it and simply um then type cmd and right click on the command prompt and make sure to run it as an administrator and then click on yes now in the black window it said type ping 127.0.0.1 um then hit enter and you if you get a reply it means your hardware is all good there's nothing wrong with your hardware however if you found there's nothing coming out there's no replying back that could potentially mean you have the problems with the hardware mostly for that if you now go ahead and restart your computer probably if you're lucky your problem is going to be solved like this is how i solve my problem often especially if it's the problem with hardware well, let's say it's not not the problem with hardware now you can follow the next process next just go ahead and take a look at wl and auto configure service so again you got to go to the windows search bar below and type service and hit enter um here press w to go to w word section um, now find the WLAN auto config in the list, double click on it and now make sure the startup type is set to automatic here. If the service um, status is stopped, um, then click start and then click apply and double click OK. Alright, so in solution 3, uh, we are going to talk a bit about the device manager check. So for that, you actually need to go to the Windows search bar below and type device manager and simply hit enter. And now here, you just need to simply find for this option called network adapter. Um, simply go ahead and double click on it and here just click for the Intel Wi-Fi or real talk wi-fi adapter so if you can see it i can click on view at the top then select the hidden uh, uh device from here now you might be able to see the option now once you see the wi-fi adapter you also go ahead and click on it select a disabled device and select confirm wait like after a few second later right click again and enable the device all over from here like, even if if there's an option like if you, if you can update that from here i would say just go and update it um, so let's see, I've done everything here, but still you have the same problem. I'll, 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 I'll tell you guys, follow the last one. This is the pretty effective and most important one. Let's say you enable and let's say you disable and enable your Wi-Fi from here and um, your problem didn't get solved. If, it, if, it, if it's the case, you can do one last work that would be definitely helpful. You can simply uninstall your drive completely from here and then you know, to just go ahead and um, once you uninstall it and then just go and open up your browser and search for internet Wi-Fi driver for Windows 10 or 11 and download a driver from your official Intel website like if you're like always make sure that complies with your um, hardware though so once you actually install it and then you know once you download the drive from the in official Intel website then reinstall the driver again and then after that also go and reset your computer and your problem is gonna be all solved. And so if you have any more questions to ask please let me know in the comment section guys see you all around.